Hello friends, this is Thaddeus coming to you with some breaking news about the newest event, the the attack on Camino, the clone clash on Clamino or Camino. Um, they should have definitely put in a third L somewhere within that sound. I'm sure it would have not been easy, but still it works. I present you actually not with some breaking news, but with a very unpopular opinion. And that is that this new Anakin may not be as pay to win or as pay to play as some big YouTube would have you believe. Now, really, it, it does suck, right? I mean, let's let's go ahead and jump into it real quick. I'm I'm actually pretty excited about this, while at the same time. I absolutely know that I'm not going to be able to unlock this character. I'm not going to be able to unlock Anakin. And it's unfortunate. But if you look at the way that they've adjusted this, I think this is quite possibly the only way that CG that done this that is fair. And I know that sounds harsh, but let's jump and take a look at it, okay? So, so first, round one. We have a ship battle, and awesome, 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 awesome that we're finally incorporating ships into something. Now, what's absolutely fascinating about this is you have Anakin's ETA Starfighter. Originally, when I saw this, I was like, man, that's kind of a middle finger because that ship sucks. And it's not that the ship sucks, but ships in as a whole kind of suck. And I, I get why people don't have this because... A lot of people don't have it, and it's not a ship that people want. But it, we knew that we were getting clones. We knew that we were getting a, a Clone Wars Air content, so it shouldn't be a surprise that Clone Wars Air stuff is required. Now, it is kind of surprising that something like the ship is required because it's, you know, like I said before, this is the first time that we've seen ships incorporated into this type of event now in all fairness this is only the second epic confrontation that we are seeing in the game so everything's still kind of new at the time but they're saying hey you need seven star it's cool that they're doing ships first but then i actually jumped over and went to swgohevents.com and i looked at how long ago the this marquee event actually launched the event itself started like, the marquee started in December of 2018. So, 12-5-2018 was the day that it launched. It ran for, you know, however long marquees run for, six, five days, whatever. But then it became farmable January 16th of this year. Now, by my calculations, even passively, aggressively farming this tune i mean over the last 10 months almost we could have or should have been able to get him to seven star that's not it's uh, yes you would have had to focus on him instead of other characters but this game is all about where you're going to spend your time where you're going to spend your resources and 10 months to farm a character is not hard if you are a daily player Again, so then we, we jump over here, right? We've got tier two, okay? And this is where it gets kind of frustrated because, and I know a lot of people are like, oh, this is shock T. We've got to have shock T at seven star and 17,000, you know, GP. Again, this is a character that, that was launched. If we jump back over to the event here to figure out when shock T was launched, actual date, according to, to this, uh, Marquis was 7 16 of 2019. Farm date was August 23rd of 2019. Making this video, okay, at the, at the making of this video, that is a duration, and apparently there's an actual tool on the internet that allows you to calculate duration. So you don't have to do the freaking math in your head. Math's not my strong suit. That's 49 days between the actual farm date until the launch of the first epic confrontation, this next epic confrontation, right? That is enough time to farm Shock T. To get Shock T from 
from zero to seven star, if you're able to get seven shards a day, did the math here, if you're able to get seven shards a day, and that does cost you some crystals, you do have to focus on shock tea, you can unlock shock tea in 47 days. If you have, if you were able to unlock her with the marquee event, if you were able to get those initial shards, it will take you less time. I personally have been farming shock T at the same time that I was farming the B1 battle droid. And currently where I'm at with shock T is I've got her halfway to six star. I'm or a little more than halfway to six star. Now I haven't really been spending a ton of extra time or energy. I'm honestly not shocked that this is the case because then if you go to tier three, all the characters are going to be given to us for tier three. Then if you jump over to tier four, again, you've got Asajj Ventress, you've got B1, you've got B2, you've got Droidica and IG 100, right? Ventress, IG, B2, those are characters that have been around since almost the beginning. I think Ventress was added later on and, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she was a from launch character. B1 obviously and, and Droidica, are fairly new. As someone who's focused on my separatist, in order to get the 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 Geonosian territory battle ready for my for my team, for myself, for my guild, these are characters that I have. As much as I am upset that I'm not going to get Anakin because I personally am not prepared for this, I'm not going to try and and panic farm him because I can't do it because the math, the numbers just don't add up. I'd have to legitimately buy shock t characters and buy ship characters ship shards to get this and and i i've seen those packs i've seen those rolls and the numbers just don't work in my favor and i'm okay with that i absolutely am now to say that it's a completely free to play character to say that it's a completely you know not a paid it's completely free to play is probably inaccurate because you uh, you do have to have Padme, you do have to have General Kenobi, you do have to have 3PO, and those characters are not easy to get, especially if you're a newer player. This is not meant for people who started the game a couple of months ago. This is meant for people who've been playing this game for a couple of years, right? Now, I know that there's frustration out there because, again, who in their right mind farmed Anakin's at a two starship. I mean, who, if you had the foresight, if you had the force with you to do that, kudos, because that's, that's impressive. Here's the thing though, guys, I don't think that all hope is lost. I think that this is going to be a meta character. Obviously he's going to be a solid character. General Skywalker is going to be meta. He's going to be awesome. But here's the thing. Here's the important thing to remember. Jump back over to swgohevents.com. We're getting the Starforge showdown 10-18, right? So cut in a couple of weeks, about 10 days from the making of this video. The last time we saw it was 8-15. That's 54 days, okay? What is taking place in the next 54 days? Short answer, there's going to be a big fat man it's going to slide down your chimneys and he's going to deliver presents to your children. And seriously, guys, the cool thing about this, the, the, the big hope that I have for this is the whole time they were talking about, you know, this, this whole new event coming out, this epic confrontation, they were talking about the timing. And it sounds to me like they have the timing set. Now, that could simply be the timing for Malik, which... I mean, that's the evidence that we have here. Malik's time is set. 54 days, roughly. So, Malik will appear again before Christmas. Will we also see General Skywalker appear during the Christmas holiday? In the past, they have done... They didn't do it last year. I think they did it the year before and the year before that. They've done any major events like the week of, of Christmas. They gave you like one or two days for an event. And it was like, hey, it's the end of the year. We want you to be happy. Boom. Now, granted, people are spending money. People are returning things and like, oh, I've got 20 bucks I can throw here or there. It makes sense. It's great with 
everything around what we've seen in the past, what we can predict for the future. I absolutely think that we will see him again before the end of the year. If this is the actual cadence for these epic confrontations. Now, I could be wrong. I could be way off the mark. I don't rightly know. I don't think it's fair to say that General Skywalker is a complete pay-to-win character. He is at this moment for people who didn't farm him, but that's the case for every new character that they introduce. But these are just my thoughts. I'm almost confident I'm going to get a ton of hate for this, but let me know. What do you guys think? Am I off the mark? Are you excited to see what this kick looks like? Are you excited to see General Skywalker in action? I'm also curious, do you think that this is wrapping up the Clone Wars content? Will General Skywalker plus the light side Geonosian territory battle be the last of the Clone Wars content? And are we jumping in to the sequel trilogy? Part of me thinks yes, part of me thinks no. I think there's a lot on the line here guys leave a comment in the section below let me know what you guys think support the channel there's a link in the section below for paypal if you want to just donate money that's a great way to do it if you don't want to like give me money outright i totally understand but check out in the link there are some great links for audible subscriptions you can get two audible books audio books for for free if you just sign up check it out there are some wonderful Star Wars audiobooks. There's some wonderful books out there on audio tape in general. If you travel a lot, you drive a lot, you mow the lawn ever, you shovel your driveway in the winter, whatever, this is a great opportunity for that. Check it out. Like, subscribe, share this video with your guildmates because I really am curious what people think. If I'm dead wrong, I want to hear back from you guys. This has been Thaddeus from Going Nerdy. And as always, my friends, smile and stay nerdy. Oh,